All right, you guys, let's learn how to make some grass that only moves in uh, on the tops. The bottom stays still. See my grass here? Bottom stays still. My grass over here, everything moves. This grass was made from a tutorial um, by this guy here. Pause the screen if you want to know who he is, Resurrection21. Um, I followed his tutorial to make my grass, and his tutorial teaches you everything, including how to make them move, but uh, doesn't teach you how to keep the bottoms still. Um, which is what I'm going to teach you today. It all has to do with this node set up here. This doesn't matter. That's just setting the color. Um, but this is what we're going to worry about right here. Um, it's taking the vertex color, which is the uh, some data that you can assign to the vertices, and then it's masking out all the color uh, data except for one component, the red channel, and it's plugging that data into the simple grass wind node instead of just using a single float integer uh, or a single float, sorry. Um, the reason this works is because obviously you can't plug a color into one of these nodes um, because there's there's four components of data there. You can only plug one component of data in these and you uh, um, have this divide node here because it was moving too much and so I, I uh, took the value down a little bit. Um, vertex paint in Blender is very easy um, you just go over to uh, Vertex Paint, and you can paint the vertices. If you export this, I've already painted these bottom vertices black. If you export this as an FBX, you can import it into Blender, or sorry, import it into Unreal, as I've done here, uh, twice. One model without the uh, bottoms painted, and another model with the bottoms painted and you can see with this node setup how it works very well. Um, I will end the video on this just so that you guys will see the um, node tree one more time. Um, this is the only part that really matters. I'll zoom in on it in case you want to pause your screen and blow it up and uh, copy my work exactly. Um, there you go. Thanks for watching.